Hi, my name is Yan Zhenzhou, and I am the co-author of the article Repeated Measurement of Fibrosis 4 to Predict Long-Term Risk of Hepatocellular Carcinoma Development up to 10 years after SVR. I am here to present to you an overview of this article. <clears throat> Hepatitis C virus infection has been a severe public health problem for over 30 years. Treatments with direct-acting antivirals offer remarkable risks of HCV eradication. However, the residual risk of hepatocellular carcinoma persists years after SVR. Therefore, it is crucial to determine which of the biologically cured patients are at high risk of developing hepatocellular carcinoma. These patients should be offered surveillance. The Fibrosis 4 score is a non-invasive serum biomarker initially designed to evaluate fibrosis. Previous studies have reported the association between the Fibrosis 4 score and hepatocellular carcinoma risk. So the current study aims to assess the long-term risk of hepatocellular carcinoma after SVR using the Fibrosis 4 score and its dynamic changes. In addition, we sought to determine whether the repeated measurement of Fibrosis 4 could provide a good prediction of hepatocellular carcinoma and identify high-risk patients who require surveillance after SVR. Our results showed that the risk of hepatocellular carcinoma persisted years after SVR with no obvious downward trend. A fibrosis 4 score above 3.25 measured at SVR any time post-SVR was asso associated with hepatocellular carcinoma development. The repeated measurement of fibrosis 4 revealed a better predictive ability of hepatocellular carcinoma than the simple measurement of fibrosis 4 at baseline. Furthermore, the current study found that by combining baseline cirrhosis with fibrosis 4 and its dynamic changes, high-risk patients could be more accurately identified. Finally, the current study identified some high-risk patients. Patients with a fibrosis 4 score above 3.25 at SVR any time afterwards should be offered surveillance. Also, patients with cirrhosis should continue the surveillance after SVR. From our perspective, future studies could include a larger population and a more extended follow-up period to determine the utility of fibrosis 4 or other non-invasive biomarkers in predicting the risk of hepatocellular carcinoma occurrence. In addition to these single biomarkers, future studies could focus more on constructing new predictive models based on repeatedly measured data. It will be instrumental in guiding the clinical decisions for HCV patients.